Today we're going to look at powers and indices. Uh, before you watch this video, I'd strongly recommend watching uh, four videos. They are squaring a number, square numbers, cubing a number, and cube numbers. Watch those videos first before you attempt watching this video. Okay, you should have seen from before, uh, you should know what this is. This means 5 squared, where you do 5 multiplied by itself. This 2 is called a par or an index. Okay, so 5 squared is 25. Uh, another one from the cubing ones, uh, 2 cubed, remember, that means 2 multiplied by itself and by itself again. So you're going to do 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 is 8. So the par is cubed, the 3. Okay. Sometimes you get higher numbers, so you don't just always get powers of 2s and 3s. Sometimes you get powers such as um, 2 to the power of 4. And that's how you say it. You say 2 to the power of 4. Cubed, squared and cubed have special names. You could also call it 5 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3. But they have a special name, squared and cubed. This is 2 to the power of 4. This would be 3 to the power of 5. This would be 6 to the power of 10. That's how you say them. Okay, We're now going to look at how to work them out. Okay, So this means 2 to the power of 4, which means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. From the cubing a number video, you'll remember that the 4 tells you how many of the base number there are. There is. So it's four or two to the power of four. So that means you've got four twos and you're going to multiply them together. So you do two times two, which is four, times two, which is eight, times two, which is sixteen. Ten to the power of five. That means ten times ten times ten times ten times ten. Ten times ten is a hundred, times ten is a thousand times 10 is 10,000, times 10 is 100,000. Okay, and finally, 2 to the power of 6, well that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is uh, 32, times 2 is 64. So you can be asked to work out what um, certain um, powers are. So they might ask you to work out or evaluate what certain powers are. So they might say work out 2 to the power 4 or evaluate 10 to the power 5. And that means you just have to work out what it is. Sometimes they can ask you to write it out in full. They'd say what's 10 to the 5 written out um, as tens multiplied by together, so you'd write 10 times 10 times 10, and so on, uh, with five of them. Um, sometimes you have to work ones out um, using the calculator because it would take too much time to work it out. So for instance, something like uh, 64 to the power of five. You wouldn't necessarily want to work that out because you'd have to do 64 times 64 using the grid method times 64, and that would take a long time. So using the calculator would be beneficial then. So let's look and see how to do it using the calculator. Okay, we're going to do uh, four different questions here. We're going to do 7 to the power of 5, 6 to the power of 10, 1 to the power of 250, and 2.5 to the power of 4. So, on the on the calculator, you need to locate the power button. So you'll know two buttons before. You'll know that the, that's the squared button, x with a little 2. And you'll know this x with a little 3 is the cubed button. Well, that's okay for squaring and cubing. But you'll want this button for any other power. You could also use this one for squaring and cubing as well if you wanted to. Let me show you how to use it. So we're going to do 5 to the power of 7. Sorry, 7 to the power of 5. So you're going to do 7. You're going to do the power button, which is this one. So you press that and you'll see you get the little arrow and then a bracket and to the power of 5. If you want to close brackets, that's fine. And press equals. And you get 16,807. So there's 7 times 7. So if you like, were to write it out in full, it's this. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. You don't need to do that, though. You can just do it in the calculator. And you get the answer of 16,807. So rather than typing in 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, you could just do 7 to the power of 5 and it'll work out the answer. Okay, 6 to the power of 10. 6 to the power of 10, 6 to the power of 10, close brackets, equals this number. Okay, uh, so it is, let's have a look, um, 60,464,000, sorry, 60,464,000. 
466,176. So, uh, 60,466,176. Make sure you write this calculator display down correctly, unlike how I'm saying it. Okay, uh, now you've got 1 to the power of 250. This is a bit of a trick question. Um, notice what happens on the calculator. 1 to the power of 250 is 1. Well, of course it's 1. Well, 1 times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1. And if you were to do 1 to the power of 250, well, it's just 1's multiplied by together, so the answer is just going to be 1. And finally, 2.5 to the power of 4. Well, 2.5 to the power of 4, close brackets, equals 39.0625. So that button there, the X with a little um, white uh, box above it, is the power button, and it's extremely useful to use whenever you're using your